Hey guys, today I'm going to give you some basic tips on doing elite adventures. Uh, we're going to start here with elite adventure number one, Savage Fortress. <clears throat> so the basic premise for this one is to stay in the main castle and not move <clears throat> until all of the enemy waves have attacked and you don't see any more moving towards you. What you'll want to do um, is between each fight, if you've noticed that your army has depleted at all, uh, there will be a fill army button that you will want to do to refill it. <clears throat> you will see at the end here, um, as you see these main force uh, troops coming in, um, you, get, you get hit all at once with a really big attack. Um, so once you sustain that, um, it's pretty much smooth sailing from there. Uh, this was my alliance first run through this um, So you'll see we're a little bit scattered at the beginning uh, when we're moving towards castle number two <clears throat> um, The goal is to be stacked up as tightly as possible when moving to the next castle um, It'll just help reduce losses and everything like that <clears throat> At this point you won't need to leave anyone at the castle um, unless they can't pay attention too much and don't want to move out and attack. Um, there will be no more enemy waves going at the main castle uh, in this particular instance. The first elite adventure is really easy. Um, none of the enemies really move after those main waves, so it's a matter of just timing your stacks um, and killing everything all at once. <clears throat> And you see we're getting a little bit better. Uh, we're a lot more on top of each other. Um, normally what you will do is someone will declare themselves as the leader um, of the adventure. And you will basically just listen to them. They will time out when you guys will be attacking. A lot of times you'll just see somebody say ready. And then a few seconds later they'll say go. And everyone just clicks the attack button and goes at the same time. Um, if you ever have less than 50% um, troops left um, from each person's army. What you'll want to do is go back to your main castle and refill your armies before moving on. Um, this will greatly reduce your losses and it'll, it'll increase your time only by a few minutes, um, but you'll be a lot more successful um, when the battles start to get a lot harder. As you can see, we were able to just go right through it and beat the main castle. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for my next video.